Hi Scorpio, Mary here. I have your monthly guidance for the month of December 2018. And I just want to say thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I really appreciate it. Remember, it's a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Scorpio. Wow. Two aces. Okay. So the first card up is judgment. So this could be that there's a judgment that's going to come out in your favor this month. It could be that you are uh, being overly judgmental of yourself or others. It could mean that um, you need to make a judgment about a situation or a relationship. Um, when I look at this picture, I just see um, someone blowing their, their horn. So don't be afraid to speak your truth, speak your mind, um, communicate what you need to communicate. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles, so I feel like there's a new beginning for you. In fact, you have two Aces. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So Aces are all about new beginnings. Pentacle energy is all about things that you can see, touch, and feel. So this could be a new job, a new home, a new car, a new career, a new start in something um, financial, material. Um, but you also got the Ace of Swords. So I feel like there's a new idea. You're getting clarity on a situation. Sword energy is intellect. So you may have that light bulb idea going off in your head. Um, but I feel like there's definitely a new start, a new idea. Um, could be that that's coming after a judgment, maybe a legal um, judgment that comes in your favor. Um, something like that. But it looks like new beginning for you, Scorpio. Uh, new beginnings. Aces are all about new beginnings. And this is Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle. And I have, um, okay, this is interesting. It's number two. Yin. Yin is female energy. So you want to have a good balance between male and female energy. Um, we all need to have a balance of the two. What's interesting is, um, to me, is the number two. Twos are all about unity, coming together, maybe with a soulmate, a new partner, something like that. Two can also be about choices that you have to make. That could be that judgment that's coming in. But I just feel like it's more of a unity and more of a balancing. You have the number 42, chop wood. Chopping wood, this is the card that um, I think of it as a way to be in the present moment. Um, so while you're waiting for things to start, like maybe you got this new idea, right? And you're just, you're just waiting to put it into um, practice. But what you need to do is take some time to take a step back and just do the normal activities of daily living. But when you're doing them, just being present in the moment. You know, when you're cleaning the bathroom, you're just really just there cleaning the bathroom. Or you're, when you're sweeping, you're in that rhythmic motion of sweeping. And that's when you get into a meditative state. That's going to help you to um, think things through about how, how you would like this um, new idea to go. You know, let it really percolate in there. Um, and formulate into um, an intention. Okay, this is Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers. That feminine energy is really important. We all have male and female energy, it doesn't matter what gender you are. <laughs> um, but it's good to have a balance of both. Connect with music. So maybe you're a musician or maybe you just um, need to spend more time um, just putting some music on and dancing around and feeling the joy of the music. But also you can listen to, um, you may hear uh, words in a song that have meaning to you. Um, that, that type of thing might be a message for you. 
Um, it could be that you're a musician and that's the new start you're thinking about doing. Um, if you do hear a certain song, pay attention. You know, sometimes a, a song is in my head. Um, it just comes out of nowhere. Um, and it's usually spirit communicating with me. <laughs> so um, usually, more often than not, the song has a meaning for the person I'm reading or the person I'm going to read in the next couple of hours or something like that, or it's a message from my guides. Okay. This is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. I'm just getting used to this deck. Oops, I see. Okay, and we have the Druid, hold space. Okay, hold the space. What does that mean, hold the space? We hold space for people when um, they need us to just be there for them and we listen, we're holding space. We're allowing them to be who they are. When you hold space for someone, even for yourself, you're just being, again, present in the moment, present with that person. Um, this is all about being present, I feel like. Um, the chop wood card, being present, and um, holding space for yourself and others, just being present in the moment, present with your relationships, present with maybe even that idea, that spark of an idea that you had that you really just need to sit with and hold space for and just allow it to formulate. You don't want to take um, action too quickly without knowing what it is that you really, really want. Um, we are manifesting much quicker than we used to. Our thoughts create our reality and you really need to pay attention to your thoughts. Um, yeah. This is Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And we have the Rainbow Prince. Oh my god, I can't read it. I'm so sad. Compensation and perseverance. Okay. Um, what I'm getting from this card is the perseverance. So I feel like um, you can see from the card, he's just, um, he's got the rainbow. He's kind of um, gathering up the rainbow light. He is sitting with it. He's holding space with it. He's allowing it to percolate into what it's going to be. What's the number here? 26. Another two. Yeah, I hope that this makes sense, but um, compensation and perseverance, it's all about, you may have to, when you compensate, it's sometimes like negotiating. Sometimes you have to give a little or maybe give in a little, let someone else have their own way hold space for that person, that relationship, whatever's going on. Um, you may need to compensate for um, someone else who maybe isn't ready to go forward with your plan or your idea. Um, persevere with that idea, but you may need to sit on it. You may, I, I feel like you really need to sit on this idea, hold space for it, kind of gather your thoughts, and then there's a whole new beginning for you. Um, that's what I'm getting, Scorpio. If you like these readings, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment below if you resonate. And um, I hope you have a great month of December. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.